Welcome back to Path of Freedom channel. Today, we're diving into one of the core teachings of Louise Hay, the power of loving yourself and practicing self-compassion. As Louise famously said, you have been criticizing yourself for years, and it hasn't worked. Try approving of yourself and see what happens. Let's explore how we can cultivate love and compassion within ourselves, just as Louise Hay encouraged. Loving yourself might sound like a simple concept, but it's a profound foundation for personal growth and well-being. Louise Hay believed that loving ourselves unconditionally is the key to living a fulfilling life. By accepting and appreciating who we are, we create a solid base for positive change. So, how do we begin this journey of self-love? One of the first steps to cultivating self-love is becoming aware of our inner dialogue. Louise Hay often spoke about the power of our thoughts and how they shape our reality. When we catch ourselves being self-critical or judgmental, we can pause and replace those negative thoughts with affirmations of self-love. For example, instead of saying, I'm not good enough, we can affirm, I am worthy and deserving of love and happiness. Another essential aspect of loving ourselves is practicing self-care. Just as we would care for a dear friend, we must treat ourselves with kindness and compassion. This means prioritizing our physical and emotional well-being. Taking time for relaxation, pursuing hobbies we enjoy, and nourishing our bodies with healthy food are all ways to express self-love. Alongside self-love, Louise Hay emphasized the significance of self-compassion. Self-compassion involves treating ourselves with the same understanding and empathy that we would extend to others. It means acknowledging our imperfections and mistakes without judgment. Practicing self-compassion allows us to break free from the trap of self-criticism and self-blame. Instead of being our own worst critics, we become our own allies and friends. Louise Hay reminded us that we deserve our own love and forgiveness, just as anyone else would. To develop self-compassion, it's essential to recognize that we are all imperfect human beings, and making mistakes is a natural part of life. Louise Hay encouraged us to see these mistakes as valuable opportunities for growth and learning rather than sources of shame or guilt. When we practice self-compassion, we offer ourselves gentle understanding during challenging times. Instead of berating ourselves for not being perfect or comparing ourselves to others, we embrace our vulnerabilities with love and acceptance. Louise Hay believed that self-compassion also involves releasing the need for external validation. By recognizing our own worth and value, we become less dependent on others' opinions and judgments. We can then approach situations with a sense of inner security and confidence. Now that we understand the importance of self-compassion, let's explore some practical ways to one of the most effective practices to cultivate self-compassion is self-reflective journaling. Take a few minutes each day to write down your thoughts and emotions without judgment. This process allows you to express yourself freely and gain insight into your inner experiences. Another powerful technique is mindfulness meditation. By practicing mindfulness, we can observe our thoughts and feelings without getting entangled in them. This detachment helps us respond to ourselves with greater kindness and understanding. Additionally, affirmations play a crucial role in fostering self-compassion. Incorporate self-compassionate affirmations into your daily routine. Repeat statements such as I am worthy of love and understanding or I forgive myself for my mistakes and embrace my growth. Practicing self-compassion also involves setting healthy boundaries. Learn to say no when necessary and prioritize your well-being without feeling guilty. By respecting your own needs, you send a message to yourself that you are worthy of care and consideration. Embracing self-love and self-compassion not only transforms our relationship with ourselves, but also positively impacts how we interact with others. When we treat ourselves with love and kindness, we become better equipped to extend the same compassion to those around us. As we embody self-love and self-compassion, 
we radiate positivity and attract healthier relationships into our lives. When we value ourselves, we set the standard for how others should treat us. This can lead to more meaningful connections and a supportive social circle. Moreover, our increased self-awareness allows us to recognize and empathize with the struggles of others. Instead of judging or criticizing, we offer understanding and compassion, fostering a more compassionate and caring community. Embarking on the journey of self-love and self-compassion is a continuous process. Celebrate your progress, no matter how small it may seem. Remember that self-compassion means accepting setbacks and treating yourself with love and patience during challenging times. It's essential to be gentle with yourself as you embrace self-love and self-compassion. Celebrate each step you take on this empowering journey, recognizing that every effort counts. Don't compare your progress to others, instead, focus on your growth and transformation. Remember that self-love is not about achieving perfection, it's about embracing your authentic self, with all your strengths and vulnerabilities. Louise Hay often reminded us that we are worthy of love and acceptance, just as we are. As you encounter moments of doubt or self-criticism, remind yourself of Louise Hay's wise words, you have the power to heal your life, and you need to know that. We think so often that we are helpless, but we're not. We always have the power of our minds. Thank you for joining me today on this exploration of loving yourself and cultivating self-compassion based on Louise Hay's teachings. Remember that self-love is not selfish, it is a foundation for a happier, more fulfilling life. As we learn to embrace ourselves with compassion, we also create a ripple effect of love and understanding in the world around us. Before we go, take a moment to practice a short affirmation with me. I am worthy of love and acceptance. I embrace myself with kindness and compassion. Carry this affirmation with you throughout your day, and may it guide you on your journey of self-discovery and growth. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more inspiring content, and don't forget to hit the notification bell, so you never miss an update. Thank you for being a part of our positive and loving community. Remember, you are deserving of all the love and compassion in the world. Be kind to yourself, and until next time, take care and stay inspired.